Modi order in the headlines, the cleanup has begun today at New Zealand's largest housing development that was affected by yesterday's West Auckland tornado. Hobsonville Land Company Chief Executive Chris Aiken says staff are assessing damage, securing structures and cleaning up. He says the primary focus is supporting those who have lost loved ones at the high school construction site. Victor Lineman says they are working in difficult circumstances but have managed to restore power to reconnect more homes in parts of Hobsonville and Whanuapai. Many of those homes are badly damaged with just 570 homes now without power. Residents of the tornado affected area are now able to get back to their homes after the cordon was lifted. Earlier today, Labour leader David Shearer visited the area to get a first hand look and to speak to those affected. He said many people were clearly shocked and worried. I think for many people it was quite traumatic. The emergency services were working very, very quickly and I was very impressed. But Certainly a lot of people that I spoke to were worried that they weren't going to be able to get back to their houses and of course they only really had what they were standing up in effectively. And local communities are being praised for their prompt response to supporting those affected. Hawkins Construction is establishing a public donations fund for the families of the men killed. Executive General Manager Dan Ashby says more details will be available next week and only one of the four people injured at that building site remains in hospital at the moment. Mr Ashby says that person remains in a stable condition while the other three have been allowed to go home. And the children's charity Variety has started an, an appeal to help the families. Variety is taking donations to provide food vouchers and Christmas gifts to the families displaced by the huge storms. Preliminary est estimates calculate the cost of the damage at $11 million. And New Zealand will donate $500,000 to the Red Cross appeal to help those most affected by Typhoon Bofa in the Philippines. Authorities in the Philippines say the death toll has risen to about 420 people and nearly 400 are missing. Kawakamana here a o kawa te rangatira o Ngāti Tua a te Raupraha hei kai te tō mō te haka o kamate. Koe rā te tehe o ngā whakaritenga i raro i tā rātau whakatahunga tiriti o Waitangi i wai tohua i te rangi nei. Mō hi o whanui tia ana tau waka haka ki te ao e te kapa o pango. And in sports, Ross Taylor is no longer the Black Caps captain and won't be touring South Africa. Brendan McCullum will captain the side in all three forms of the game. Coach Mike Hesson recommended a co-captaincy role between Taylor and McCullum, which was endorsed by New Zealand Cricket, but Taylor rejected the idea. And finally, Prince Charles says he's thrilled about his upcoming role as a grandfather. His daughter-in-law Catherine was, has left London Hospital after treatments for severe morning sickness. The Prince of Wales has told reporters he's happy she's OK. Koe rā ngā karere matua mai te whare kōrero o rima, mahora mai.